Good afternoon. The open meeting of the Commissioners of Trust Funds is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth of uh, due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. For this meeting, the Commissioners of Trust Funds is convening by Zoom app as posted on the town, town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. So I'm calling uh, the meeting to order and the first order of business is to approve the minutes of our last meeting. May I have a motion to approve? I'll make the motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Hayden seconds. Yes, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, those have been approved. What else is on the agenda? I think we just have the invoices. We have so invoices and I've got an update on the, uh, the reopening uh, as much as I know and you guys can fill in anything that you can Okay, well, let's do the invoices first and then let's go talk about the reopening, okay? Uh, Hayden had a, a question on the uh, invoices in terms of that very large expenditure from the library. I had the same, well, I also had a question about that. Yeah, I assumed it was they're putting in a new system and that was a, a, a temporary payment for the uh, new computer system they're putting in or the new software system. The website design and de development services, $8,000. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't know because normally they just spend on whatever they want, but I can get some more information on it from Ann McFate. Do you I mean, folks want to withhold your votes until then? I mostly just wanted to understand you know, is that something that's covered by whatever, you know, the library trust document? Because this is beyond sort of purchasing media for the library. This is this is purchasing a service. So just, you know, is it an allowable expense? Yeah, what's well, coming- Is that your question also, Hayden? Or did you have a different angle on it? No, I just, I, I, the question was what, you know, what is this, that's all. I, it just was an unusually large number it's coming uh, from their, uh, their permanent like fund, just... which they can spend on whatever they want. That's one thing. I can look into it you know, a little more and find out why they're using a trust fund to pay it. Yeah. If they're improving the website, that's a good thing because I do use their website and it could use an improvement. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm, not, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying it could be better. Yeah, I, I understood. And I mean, I... I'm not suggesting anything is wrong with the spending. I just, you know, Evie, so you you believe that it's consistent with the library trust that they can basically spend on whatever they want? Yeah, let me ask some questions because I'm wondering if they have our IT department involved in this or they just, they have every right to go off on their own and redo whatever they want, but usually they do involve the, or the town's IT department. Okay, well, we'll withhold the we'll withhold it until you come back with some information. Yeah, we, we can we can hold it. We don't have to pay it. We can. All right. I don't even see any backup, to be honest with you. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any. Anything. All right. Well, let's move on to the reopening. Yeah, okay, we'll put that one aside. Is yeah. that what you'd like to do? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the two of you voted for the other uh, invoices, or the other invoice. Yeah, I mean, should we be formal about it? I mean, I, I, I approve those for payment. All right, so all those in favor say aye of the invoices other than the one with the website development on it. Aye. Yeah, aye, aye. Aye. Okay, so we got eyes on that. All right. Now, Evie, can you talk to us about the reopening? Yes, we've had several meetings, and as you know, um, the executive order is going to be lifted on June 15th, 
And the town hall is going to be open to the public, no more by appointment only on June 1st. We are to, our staff is to come back to work as usual, as much as they can. We do have certain individuals who have childcare concerns and because camps are crazy this year, apparently some are not, I don't know, Dan, if you run into this, but some camps are not open and some are called shine camps because they can, there's no indoor facility because they're still requiring the little ones to wear masks and kind of, kind of social distance. Um, the uh, social distancing is gone yeah. and the uh, mask wearing, I'm sure you've heard, is kind of optional. My staff in the treasurer's office has said they want to continue to wear their masks. That's fine. They will continue and I will continue when I'm out of my office to wear a mask. Um, what else was it? Um, and it's basically the CDC guidelines is what they're following. Anyone who has been vaccinated can come and go as you please and, and you know, do whatever you want. Anyone who's not vaccinated is, of course, still required to wear a mask. But, of course, we don't know who's still not vaccinated. But what they're saying is that it doesn't matter because if you're vaccinated, fully vaccinated, that um, you cannot transmit it or you will not be able to, to catch it from someone who has not been vaccinated. That's what we're being told. The well, at our next meeting in June, do you want us to wear a mask or not wear a mask? It doesn't matter to me. Oh, I don't. It's up to the. It's up to the group. Um, up to I, I'm fine not to wear a mask, but if anyone is, um, you know, un, uncomfortable, I, I'm happy to wear it. How about you, Dan? I'm in the same camp as Hayden. I'm perfectly fine without at this point, but I will do it if someone would be uncomfortable otherwise. All right, so let's all bring a mask, but we don't have to wear them, okay, at the next meeting. Um, the capacity limits have been lifted, so there can be as many people as you want in a, in a room. Or As far as public meetings, the selectmen met last night. The, the governor has proposed legislation that would make Zoom meetings optional until Labor Day. The Board of Selectmen met last night and had a lengthy discussion about what we, because we can, we can do our own because it's optional. The town can determine what they want. So they're going to be discussing it again, I believe on June 9th. Yeah, June 9th. Um, and make a final determination because there was a split. There were. Well, was, as far as how that affects us, don't we kind of have the opposite question, which is, I think we all agree we'd like to meet in person next time. Are we required to broadcast that on Zoom still or no? No, that's that's what that's what a lot of the committee meet, committees are having a problem with because they want to do it the kind of Zoom and in person. And the IT director who was the gentleman that was just up here, he said there's just no way that he can do that, he, that he can set it up to right have it Zoom and in person. And if it's in person, um, if you do it that way, the chair and a quorum has to be in the room. So, I mean, there's only three of you. So, you know, it would have to be Joe and one other in the room. And then like Dan could, or, or Hayden could Zoom in, I guess. Um, but I think it's up to you to make a decision as to whether you want to continue with the Zoom, because I know you only have one more meeting before the summer comes, or if you want to meet in person for your June meeting. I would prefer to meet in person. Uh, I agree. I, I would as well, if everyone's good with, you know, being that, do, doing that. Um, I also support meeting in person. Okay. okay. Are you good with that? Yeah, I'm Have fine. You? Are you yeah. kidding? I, I'm all for not wearing a mask. Okay. Now, on a, on a subject tangential to this, I understand that the school department is trying to take over the senior center and change it to a community center. Is that true? I don't know. I've not heard that. I've heard that from the grapevine, which upsets me no, no end. Well, the school department has been using it as administrative offices. Uh, to, to make more social distancing. And so I think they said they were going to continue doing that for some additional amount of time, but I'm, 
I don't know if they were going to permanently take it over. Well, the senior center is going to open, I believe they said July something. July 14th, July 17th, it's in mid July sometime. The senior so center? Open. Yeah. How's the school administration people going to? I don't know. I have not heard that though, Joe. Yeah. They have this, they have their own administrative building. Yeah. It's huge. The Emory Grover. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, I'll have to snoop around, see if I can. To look around and ask people, see if I can hear, hear anything. Uh, but that's that's it. If you you know any other questions, um, K through twelve no longer has to wear masks outside. I'm sure Dan, you've probably been aware of all you've aware of all. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Um, I didn't really pay too much attention, but um, effective five eighteen, any sports won't have to wear face coverings. And I guess none of the kids have to wear face coverings outside, I think. Right. No, they, yeah, that's right. They, they've stopped it for the uh, sports events, which is. No, they won't thing. have to, but no. So we're almost there, everybody. We're, we're kind of getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. It seems like uh, one day we have to wear a mask and the next day we don't. So that always confounds me, but. I guess they have to have a start and stop somewhere. Yeah. Okay, any other business, new or old? Okay, prior to adjourning, let us decide what day we're gonna meet in person in the town hall in June. The two Wednesdays possible are the third Wednesday, which is the 16th, and the fourth Wednesday, which is the 23rd. This is the last meeting before our September meeting. So let's uh, think it's about which one the, we'd like. Sorry, Joe, it's gonna be the scholarship meeting. So maybe a little bit, or maybe the 16th if everyone can make it would be better. Okay. I'm fine with either one. I'm fine with 16th, Dan. Works for me. Okay. So that takes care of that. So 4.30 so, on the 16th. So, Every, does this mean it'll be a bit longer meeting? Is that true or not likely? I'm sorry, well, I no longer. Uh, you're saying this because of the scholarship meeting, will it be a longer than normal meeting? I can't really remember. No, I think you just review it, curse, give it a cursory review and talk about certain scholarships and right. I don't know. So yeah, I, I, no. thought, I think we're planning to get dinner after. So, yes. should we start, so should oh, we start? So should we start later? Should we start yeah, I was going to say maybe we should start at five. Okay. Or a little later. I, I don't know. Anybody? At five would be fine. Okay. All right. So. All right. Five o'clock uh, on the sixteenth. Five thirty on the sixteenth. Do five. 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 Yeah. So, June sixteenth. Five. Okay. All right. So now I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second the motion to adjourn. All in favor say aye. And the ayes have it. All right. Okay. All right. I'm uh, sorry I'm, about the. Were you able to get on or you had to wait? We had to wait. We couldn't get in until you. you... Know, I mean, I've been, I've done so many Zooms. I've never had that happen to me. Yeah. I might have set it up wrong. I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to drop off because I have another call, uh, that another Zoom at five that I thought we would be done by. So oh, I'm sorry. Well, That's okay. That's all right. Hope we'll it goes see, better. We'll see all you right. all later. See you later. Look forward right. to seeing you next month, truly. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah.